Well, hello, my beautiful Librans. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with a little bonus reading all about you. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder, though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I will never ask for personal details. And I will also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. <coughs> Okay, my beautiful Librans, this is a little bonus reading all about you. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. But already, before I even start your reading, they're actually giving me the word voice in the water. Just one word, voice. Okay, so maybe that's about using your voice in some area of your work. Perhaps you're writing a presentation or you are someone who is a performer. Um, I mean, the voice, of course, is to speak up. It is to sing your song, your soul song, out to the universe. And it's often to really say how you feel or to speak plainly and tell your story. So perhaps some of you are thinking about the difficult experiences you've had in life and how you can turn adversity into something positive, like writing a story, writing a book, writing a screenplay. Uh, so, I mean, even might be something that you are thinking of channeling into a piece of art. So. I'm just seeing the word voice. So I'm just gonna leave it like that because I mean, it's not gonna resonate for everyone. So I'll, I'll leave it there, okay? I don't know what they actually want me to say with that because it's not really connected to anything. Uh, this reading is meant to focus on things that you may be worried about or challenged with, things that perhaps have really captured your focus recently that may have made you feel a little bit anxious and how things are going to work out for you as well long term, okay? So thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Librans? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? Can you please show them the way? What are they meant to see? They want me to go one more, so I will. Okay. Um, we have the rock and we have earth, okay. So a definite need to ground yourself, my beautiful Librans, but also some of you are worried about time. Some of you are um, keeping something to yourself. That's what I feel. Some of you are keeping your emotions deep, deep down. Um, I feel like you've been very, very busy. And some of you may have felt a little bit pushed and pulled in many different directions. And you may have a lot of options on the table right now and you're seeking answers. I get a sense here that you've been enduring a very difficult circumstance in particular. And I feel you're ready for something new. You're ready to bring more. I mean, look at those two cards. These two cards are literally launching themselves opening themselves up to like a breath of fresh air. So some of you may have felt that life has got a little bit stuck. You may feel a little bit overwhelmed, so whether that's by your emotions or whether that's by a circumstance. I'm going to dig a little bit deeper in there, um, but I definitely see that you're grounding yourself. And even though there are difficult circumstances that are outside of yourself, I feel like you're going to thrive and survive. And I definitely see that you are creating stability as well as prosperity in your life as well but I feel like you have worked really hard for it there. I mean, there's lots of trees and lots of um, plant and foliage kind of showing up in your reading. So this tends to tell me that you are planting roots. You may be wondering where it is that you belong, but you are creating that sense of stability and long-term security and prosperity as well. I mean, some of you may also be, you know, really focused on your family unit at this time because the tree in the Lenormand deck connects to um, family, but also to heritage and, uh, you know, where you have come from, where you are right now and where you want to be in the future. 
And some of you may want to get out into nature or you have a plan to, you know, go out there and connect to the land in some way, maybe grow your own food. Uh, maybe this is a plan for the future. Maybe it's something that you're trying to orchestrate right now. Um, I will tap in with the energy in a moment. Look at that, two aces, two stars. Your reading is pretty spectacular right now because the universe may be sending you some sort of experience that feels like a struggle that's because on the other side there is a major change that is going to bring a brighter future for you we tend to experience something a little bit difficult just before we have a major breakthrough and i see that you are going to have this breakthrough um whatever it is i mean the full card twice look at this two different three different decks that i'm using and they're all pointing to the same sort of energy right now um, four pentacles, long-term security, nine of wands. You're cautious. You're, you're cautious about something. So let's uh, dive in and see what is going on there. I just want to close off these decks before I move forward. Now, your first card, of course, is time. And it says the word discipline there. It's very tiny. I hope you can see it. Uh, but this is, of course, being very organized. And this is your protagonist energy. So for some of you, you may feel that there are changes on the way both on a personal level, but also in terms of world events. And I feel like you can sense the cycle of change and you're trying to put yourself in a really good position to weather any of these changes, okay? Now, whether this is career related for you or whether it's personal for you, whether it's in terms of your home space, I definitely get a sense that you have a mission or a goal that you want to accomplish and I feel like you will. I definitely see that you're aligning yourself with good luck and also with opportunity. So with the time card, and it is number, you see, number 41. Now, number 41, when you reduce it, four plus one is five, which is the number of challenge. So you may have felt a little bit pressurized recently. You may have also felt like time is speeding up, that you never have enough time to do all the things that you want to do. And you're trying to manage your time more effectively. This may be, um, you know, a Virgo season energy that is influencing you at the moment because that will affect us all. But this is really about finding out the causes of our procrastination and you know, we all procrastinate from time to time and it can indicate that we have a resistance to do something or we feel uninspired to do something. I mean, sometimes we may be just exhausted, burnt out, especially since you've got the nine of wands there. And sometimes we need that downtime and we can procrastinate with that downtime. And what I mean by that is you can have really healthy, effective downtime where you're actually resting your body, mind and soul, whether that's through yoga, whether that is uh, just actually relaxing in silence or whether it is, you know, sometimes it's just crashing out in front of the TV. But if you're always on your phone, for example, you know, your mind is still absorbing a lot of energy. You're not giving your mind and your thoughts a moment to really reflect. So, you know, that can be a level of procrastination that is draining your energy. So I feel like you're currently like focusing on things that perhaps drain your energy or, you know, that you feel are wasting your time. It could also be that someone is wasting your time and you're acutely aware of this at this time. Um, with this card, it indicates that, you know, you, I mean, we all have a certain amount of time on this planet and I feel that you want to launch something new or you want change. And I feel like you're trying to navigate uncharted territory. I get a sense here that you are looking at your path and feeling a little bit uncertain about the way, but with the full card and the death card, I mean, I get an energy here that you are trying to either start something new or relocate or challenge yourself to do new things, whether that's in your career, whether that's on a personal level. I feel you definitely want to bring more spontaneity and happiness and love into your life as well as, um, you know, fun. I mean, for some of you, you've already got a love relationship. You may be in a high level commitment already and you're trying to reignite that spark with your partner. And I feel for some of you, you know, there may be some more healing and understanding going on there. But ultimately, this card indicates that you may feel a bit of pressure regarding time. And you're trying to be more disciplined, more focused, but also you're trying to be more time effective. So you may be looking at your schedule and trying to organize yourself a little bit more so that you can put yourself in a really good position to get more stuff done and have more time for you or have healthy time for you where you can do things that you love doing. Uh, you can kick back and relax. Now we've also got the full card, beginnings. Now, 
Of course, if you're launching something new or you're, you know, navigating uncharted territory or you're thinking about doing something new, whether it's relocating to a new area or whether it is, you know, you deciding to put yourself out there for a new career opportunity or whether you're wondering whether you should, uh, you know, move countries and relocate, emigrate or even whether it's to integrate yourself into a new group of people, a new friendship set, you know, or launch uh, a new hobby, whatever it is that you're doing that is, you know, exhilarating and thrilling at the same time, it can be a little bit nervous because we're doing something that we've not done before. So there is a certain level of uncertainty. And I feel, my beautiful Librans, you tend to find the beauty in every single thing. You try to anyway. And I feel like you're trying to find the beauty in uncertainty because the last couple of years, life has been pretty uncertain, okay? And I feel like you're learning to be very flexible with that level of uncertainty. So I get a sense here that you're prepared for any changes that come your way going forward. Now, the full card also indicates that you have a lot of potential, okay? In everything that you do, you're actually very gifted. Um, I feel, I mean, the full card is about new adventures, but it's also about being the student of life, you know, having faith, taking that leap of faith, knowing that the universe has got your back. And I feel that some of you are trying to be enthusiastic about um, something that you're working towards, but I feel here with the death card, the ace of swords and the full card in the resistance position, I feel some of you are a little bit stuck or you're gathering knowledge and you feel unprepared to take that launch and you're wondering when is the right moment to do it, okay? Now, we can be really excited about an idea or something that we want to do and then suddenly we are hit with, you know, an apathy or a low feeling of energy, okay? We can be up one day and we can be down the next day and that's just human nature. Now, this could be a food substance that is draining your energy or it could be um, a, an experience, maybe even an environment. If it's a career environment, it could be that you are feeling a bit stagnant or stuck, but it could also be, you know, that you're fluctuating in your moods right now and it's about one moment you're really excited to do something and the next minute you're like, mm, maybe not today. It's really important to honor your energy and not force it. You know, I remember sometimes because, you know, I'm, I'm not a, like, um, an artist or anything, but I like to dabble in like, uh, you know, occasionally drawing or painting and things like that, get my creative juices flowing. But I'll wake up in the morning and I'll be like, you know what, I'm really excited to start that painting. And you know, I'm really in the flow. And then the next day, I'll look at that painting and go, oh, I really want to finish that painting. I really want to get back to it. I'm not feeling it today, though. And if I try to push through that energy and go, you know what, but I want to get it done. So I'll just go and do it, then I'll ruin it. And I don't intend to, I'm just not in the mood, I'm not in the flow. And sometimes we have to honor that balance, that harmony of being in the flow. And I feel like this is something that you're navigating right now. Sometimes you gotta honor the fact that you don't wanna do something. And you know, you can kick back, relax, recharge your batteries and put your mind elsewhere. So I feel um, right now though, you're, you're thinking about launching something big. Now it could be a business, it could be an entrepreneurial ship. Um, some of you may be even launching like, uh, um, a, I'm just getting an energy of healing or, you know, you may be like taking a program where you open yourself up to self-discovery and I feel that, you know, it's going to be very rewarding for you long term. Um, now, I've also got the star energy. Now, the star energy is really about lots of inspiration, lots of brand new ideas and embracing growth, okay? This is also about you being in a new phase of life. The star energy can be clarity, intense clarity, and you see that something in your life is making you feel stuck and you know that you need to do something about it. And whether that is to, you know, um, explore new places in your neighborhood or really get to know your neighbors or whether it is to, you know, launch that idea or start a new career path, whatever it is, I feel like you are having a critical eye on it at the moment and you're, it's almost like you are trying to tap into your heart space. I feel like you are composing your emotions and I feel like you're feeling a fear and doing it anyway, okay? Now the star energy also indicates that there is a brighter future to look forward to and that's what's wonderful is your intention is you're looking forward to the future, okay? And you're looking forward to a new start at some point in the future and your outcome energy is a star. You get your wish. So this is an incredible time for you where you're actually aligning yourself with your soul song, but also you're aligning yourself with your goals, your dreams, and your wishes. And I feel 
Some of you may even dip your toe into something um, briefly just to see what it would be like. So for example, if you're thinking about creating something, you may draw up some plans for it before you actually launch it, or you may uh, soft launch something before you decide to really go out there and say, hey, this is my business. Or you know, if you're in a career, for example, and you have a job already, you may put your resume out there, see what other opportunities are out there. Because I feel like for some of you with the King of Cups, I feel like you're really good at what you do. You're at top level especially if you're in a career. I feel like you're at managerial level, you're at leadership level, CEO level. I feel like you are really gifted and talented and you're super intuitive as well, okay? So some of you are looking for new opportunities that bring long-term security and more money that you can save, okay? And I definitely see that you're following your heart to do that. But the King of Cups ultimately is to really tap into your emotions and also to your intuition. So I feel that you know, um, it's really important that some of you are going through some major healing and especially uh, some of you, not all of you, I'm getting a real strong energy for my beautiful Librans out there, probably about 35% energy, 35 to 37%. I know it's not a big difference there, but it does matter in terms of the fluctuating energy that I feel that comes through because I read energy and I scry and I'm clear audience as well. I feel that some of you have something from childhood that you are addressing and it's a very sensitive topic and I get a sense here that you're trying to understand it and as you mature I feel like you try to understand it with a more you know wise brain and try to process it now of course the past is it makes us who we are, right? And it is very important, of course, but it is in the past. And I feel like you're trying to break the chains to anything that perhaps controlled you or has power over your feelings. And I feel like you're trying to leave it in the past. Now, it may not just be from childhood. It may be experiences that you've had that have kept you very stuck. Okay, um, I mean, some of you during this period, you may think about counseling, not all of you, but I get a sense that some of you are um, curious about opening yourself up to some sort of counseling or spiritual retreat or a period of self discovery to learn more about yourself and your deep emotions because you are a very, very deep person. Okay, and um, the King of Cups is really about being comfortable with the world around. And as you can see, the seas are really choppy there and he's literally dipping his toe. It's really interesting that you've got two cards there of someone dipping their toe into water. So some of you, you know, I get a sense that you are deciding to open yourself up to something that eventually you'll completely dive into. And I feel it's an exciting time for you actually as well. But with the King of Cups, I feel like you're really getting comfortable with your emotions. You're such a, you know, peaceful, uh, non-judgmental person. You're very fair. You're very gentle and you're very diplomatic, very generous. You have a, a beautiful, loving heart. And I feel that you're trying to find your soul tribe as well. Some of you are wondering, you know, um, there's not many good souls out there like you. I mean, there's lots, but you may not have come across them. So I feel like you're trying to find your soul tribe as well uh, for some of you there. Um, the King of Cups keeps shouting out at me. And what I'm getting here is to protect. Okay, I'm getting the word to protect. So some of you are protecting your emotions because you're going through a period of healing or you're thinking about launching something that's really creative or launching a dream or something that you can vision for your future. And you're being a bit protective because you feel like this is me putting myself out there. And I get a sense that you're eager to do it, but at the same time, a little bit cautious to do it as well. I feel like it's gonna be a major success, whatever that is, okay? Now, we do have the depth card, and it's in the resistance position. Now, this is an interesting card because, I mean, it's number 31, and I mean, it's the lake card, but it says depth there as well. It's really about not taking the shallow alternative in life, to dive deep, deeper than you have ever done before. And that's not just in terms of your emotions, but if you're about to launch something or you're about to open yourself up to a new path, it's really important to do your research. So I feel you're, you're having a calculated move because they're indicating if you don't look before you leap, you could end up stuck. Okay, so the full card twice with the lake card can, the combination can indicate don't be foolhardy and just launch something without thinking it through fully or getting information on it. I really see that um, the outcome is very positive, but I feel like you're going to do your research. Um, also, the lake energy, especially in this 
position. Some of you, you may have met someone perhaps when you were younger or maybe they were younger than you who was in some way, um, how can I put that? They were not spiritually evolved and they were not emotionally available to accept your love. And for some of you, not all of you, I feel like it changed the way that you love and you're trying to unpick or unblock that. So if you are looking for love, I feel like there's love coming for you, okay? There's definitely an Ace of Cups here, Four of Pentacles, it's long-term, secure, Nine of Wands. I feel like you'll be cautious when you meet this person, um, but it is fate that you meet this person, just so you're aware, and you may meet this person traveling as well, is what I'm picking up. But for those of you who are not looking for love, I get a sense here, it could be a person who hurt you or a family member that perhaps you lost touch with or there was some sort of drama there. I feel like you're unpicking a lot of emotions that are uh, going on regarding that. And they're giving me the word shaken. So some of you may have, um, you know, felt like this was an important relationship or friendship in your world and it really shook you that things um, were difficult. And I, I also get an energy here of, just need to pick up this energy. Some of you are really close to being completely exhausted and you're pushing yourself to the max. I see you're trying to push yourself to come out of your comfort zone, which is wonderful, but I feel it doesn't have to be too quick. It can be easy done, okay? Uh, with the transformation card in the resistance position, some of you, there is some major change going on in your world, a major transition, and it feels like you're tumbling. I get a sense that like someone is like, so for example, if you're in the career environment, you may hear of some major changes or, you know, a revamp of management and, you know, it may make you feel a little bit anxious um, and you may feel, I mean, there may be some new policies that come in and you may feel a little bit resistant to those things. What I mean by that is you may hear of some people leaving um, their posts and you may have to take up more of the work and with less of the money and you may feel a little bit resistance to that and it feels a little bit uncertain okay now for those of you who are not in the career environment um, I definitely get energy that you're trying to change something big in your life something big is ending now it could be that you've been in a, a house for many many years and you're deciding to leave the neighborhood and move somewhere else and that's a big change and you may feel is it the right move i definitely see that wherever you're ending up there's going to be so much peace so much balance so much harmony and i feel like you're on the right track and you're going to look back and think this was the right move for me okay um i feel it's going to be a difficult move and what i mean by that is it's going to be exhausting you know it's going to be lots of boxes unpacking you know orchestrating everything it's going to be you know frustrating and exhilarating at the same time. Uh, for those of you who are having a big lifestyle change, and you may even change direction, like your meaning and purpose right now, so some of you may actually connect to a new passion at this time, or you may be expanding on what you already do, and it just feels a little bit nerve-wracking that you're about to do something really different. I see that you're on the right track and the universe is stepping in to bring you some good luck as well to help you along the way. Uh, the transformation is the death card and in the resistance position, some of you have been feeling like mega stuck in your life right now in some area. And it can mean that some of you are stuck in love or you are stuck in you know, trying to talk to new people or you're stuck and you feel like you need more fun in your life and things just got a little bit samey, samey. I just get an energy here that you're going to come unstuck. I feel like you're taking the initiative to change your life in some way and I feel it's going to be positive change. Okay, the death card is a transformation card and it tends to mean that you are releasing that which is hindering you and you're making space for something greater. I also see that some of you are really trying to do a lot of healing in your life, trying to choose the healthier path for yourself and you may actually break some old habits or old patterns, you know, narratives that you may have learned when you were younger um, or maybe um, you've picked up along the way on your journey, but I definitely get a sense here that you are, you know, shedding what is old and familiar in order to step into a brand new you and I mean it could even like extend to I mean your 12th house is influencing you at this time so I feel some of your biggest changes that you're making right now is to make more space to connect to your inner um, self to your higher self as well I really get a sense here that you're going to feel a little bit more sensitive than usual this is a time to connect to your spiritual path and a lot of you are 
developing like a deeper sense of awareness and receiving important messages as well about your path and the world at large and how you need to navigate the changes that are coming in the world as well. And I feel it's important that you tap into that level of intuition because it's going to take you to where you need to be, okay? Now also your seventh house is influencing you at the end of the month. So a lot of you are gonna be thinking about your relationships, your friendships, you know, your soul tribe members, the people that you surround yourself with day to day. And if you're feeling a little bit stuck and you need to expand your friendship circle, I definitely see that you're going to take action to open yourself up to new circles of people and they're going to be very, very rewarding. And I feel like you're going to meet at least two people who are gonna be friends for life, okay? So if you're struggling and you're feeling a little bit alone right now, I definitely see that you're going to connect to people who are on the same wavelength as you. And um, I feel these are healthy friendships that will last for a very long time, okay? Um, also, some of you, if you're looking for love, there is definitely a partnership coming on in for you. Um, some of you may be looking at business partnerships as well and how things are going there. I see major changes happening, but they're for the better. And I feel it brings a lot more um, moderation. And you know, if you felt like finances have been fluctuating recently, going up and down, I feel like you know, you're going to be on a steady level in the coming months. So I feel there is a positive there as well. I feel like you're gonna be actually able to save a little bit money. I feel like you're not going to be um, overspending or short. That's what I see there as well. Now the Ace of Swords, some of you have had a very difficult experience at some point where you felt someone was not honest with you or um, where you felt betrayed by somebody. Um, I mean, some of you, I feel, and don't shoot the messenger when I say this, some of you may have felt that intuitively you should have known this and that perhaps you made a poor judgment on this person's character. But actually this person, I feel like they were, they were actually not honest with themselves. And when someone is not even honest with themselves, you can't expect them to be honest with anybody else. But people who tend to be dishonest with themselves, they tend to really believe what they're saying because they're not even being honest with themselves. So it's almost like they, they're not orchestrating like um, a betrayal or a lie on purpose because they're continuously lying to themselves as well. So I feel like they're in denial. Whoever this person is or this experience you had, and I feel that some of you are healing from that. I feel it's almost like it just robbed me of my voice. So perhaps this is something about um, somebody you can't even bring yourself to talk about, or every time you go to talk about this person, you lose your voice, or it's like the person you should not talk about. It's almost like the person who should not be named. That's what I'm picking up. Like um, someone that you just don't talk about anymore. You may phase this person out. Now this could be a family member. It could be a friend of me, an ex friend, or it could be an ex. Uh, so please take it as it resonates. I mean, it could even be someone who was a boss or someone that you used to work with who, you know, in some way tried to make things really difficult with you. And I feel like some of you may have been in a bit of a um, nostalgic period right now where you're trying to work through the old stuff and it may have just popped up like why did that person do that to me why did that happen what was the lesson there what was it was to listen to your intuition and to recognize that you've got a good heart a really good heart and not everybody is the same and sometimes that's the hardest lesson to learn in life but it is a truth and it is an uncomfortable truth and also I'm picking up an energy here that there is something that deep deep down my beautiful Librans, you know you need to change and you need to take accountability and responsibility for that, okay? Whether it's something you need to cut out of your life or whether that's something that you need to launch or start, they're indicating there's something here that deep, deep down, you know in truth that you've got to do, okay? So I feel like you're be gonna be called to do it in the coming months. Also with the Ace of Swords, some of you, there, uh, not all of you, I just want you to be aware, and this is only if you've just come to this reading and you know this to be true already. Some of you, you know, you may be um, either healing from a surgery or you have one planned or you're expecting a date for one. It will change things for you, but with the star all over your reading, it's indicating healing in good timing, okay? So just take the time that you need to heal, recover your energy, your strength, and be cautious 
after it because I feel like you don't want to overdo it okay but ultimately there's so many stars here so I you know stars represent healing um, you know hope and a brighter future to look forward to so I definitely see that as well now the full card in this position also indicates that some of you are aware that you have um, scattered energy or you've been feeling pushed and pulled in many different directions you have a lot of potential and I feel there's this energy of um, not wanting to waste your time to want to launch something or do something new have a change bring more fun into your life the full card is all about fun it used to actually appear in the Emperor card the Emperor card the Emperor would be sitting on the throne and a fool be peering over his shoulder or peering through a door which was always a reminder that life gets serious sometimes we have a lot of responsibilities but we must balance it out with fun or doing something that we love to remain young at heart and I see a lot of you reconnecting to your inner child and that's why I see a lot of you um, going through some healing processes or deciding to do therapy or I get a sense here that you're embracing your inner child as you move forward and it will help you in your life day to day as well because it just releases this baggage off your shoulders even if you had a really great childhood I feel like you're embracing your inner child and you know learning to be you know playful again cheerful again because the world has got super serious in the last couple of years and I feel it's I feel like a lot of people have found their way back to recalibrating their life but it's been hard I feel like the transition has been difficult and nobody really talks about it people are just busy getting by and I'm not just talking about the physical stuff I'm talking about the mental stuff I'm talking about the sense of you know anxiety that's still here in the gut instinct like there could be changes at any moment there could be something else what is to come and I feel that in the undercurrent of your reading where you're in fight or flight mode okay and I feel that a lot in the readings that I'm doing at the moment for the all about you's okay so collectively I feel this undercurrent of uncertainty and I feel that um, you are in a very stable position to weather any changes okay because you've got loads of cards that are about planting roots I mean you've got endurance now this is an indication that you're a very strong person but also that you thrive in difficult circumstances as you can see you know not much grows on rocks that have been placed on top of each other but this tree has managed to do that and you know if you notice the brain in this card is in the shape of a tree so this is you formulating ideas to create stability long term and generational wealth as well and I feel like your dedication and your time management skills will see you do that whether you're launching a new business whether you're even looking at the things that you have in your home space that you've outgrown and you're deciding to sell it whatever it is I feel like you're creating more wealth but at the same time I feel like you're creating stability and things have been challenging but with this card it's number 20 now number 20 connects to the judgment energy which is about your true life's purpose so some of you you have been trying to align yourself with your goal or your dream or your mission and it has been tough but I feel like you've got this and I feel like you're going to be able to do this as well as you move forward um, this card number 20 I'm getting an energy of you know look for the groundedness in chaotic situations I feel like you've been very patient and I feel like you've been very slow and steady in the way forward and you will be successful the obstacle is sometimes the way through so don't be discouraged um, I feel there is you know sometimes slow progression but progression is actually being made okay and I feel like you have been shaped and formed by the circumstances that you've experienced and you've become strong because of it so you've got this whatever difficulty you're going through I see change happening for the positive for you and there is going to be a time of plenty I mean you got the earth there okay now the earth is you know about balance but it's also about um, finding your roots I mean it literally says home here so some of you may be thinking about relocating or really just you know soul searching to see where you find home and we can find home in many different places whether it's a working environment whether it's an actual home as your sanctuary whether it's a country or whether it's in the arms of another or whether it's in your soul tribe so it is really about where you feel like you belong and I feel that you're coming home to the person that you have been and are always meant to be and I feel like you are you know rediscovering parts of yourself that bring peace happiness and you know a sense of that all is well because I get this undercurrent as I said where 
there is just part of you that's always prepared for what if things go wrong, okay? And that's a really good thing, but make sure it doesn't cause you that level of anxiety that it changes your frequency. Because remember, the world at large at the moment, there is a large frequency of fear and sadness and sorrow at the moment. And in order to change our world for the better, it's important to raise our vibrations. And that's easier said than done, I know. And I sound like um, someone who's like woo woo or, um, you know, idealistic and perhaps even naive in my vision that we can all one day in the future, probably not in my lifetime, unfortunately, because we're not as evolved as we should be or hope to be. Um, but I do hope that there will be peace amongst humanity. And I'm sure we all hope for that, but we're all energy. Okay, we're all energy and they've done scientific tests on, you know, those two plants. I talk about them all the time in the museum. Uh, they had two plants and they gave them the same water, gave them the same access to sun and they were thriving. And the only difference is they got everybody to come into this exhibit and you know, say beautiful things to one plant and tell it how beautiful it was, how loving it was, how gorgeous it was and thanked it for its beauty. And then the other plant, they were told to shout obscenities and hateful words at it. And that plant died really quick and the other one thrived. And there was no other changes. They were exactly the same and fed the same and treated the same apart from the words. And words are spellings, they're castings, and we are energy. So we actually give off this energy. And I feel like you're trying to change your circumstances and you're trying to be really positive. And I feel like you're going to find your way to what it is that you desire, okay? Now it's number 15. Number 15 is the devil card, which is all about feeling stuck. But it's also about, you know, um, thriving under difficult circumstances and releasing yourself, liberating yourself from that feeling of being stuck. Now, of course, when you get the earth card, it does heavily govern your reading because you are acutely aware of circumstances that are going on in the world. And sometimes you can see the undercurrent of destruction and deception and all of those things. So you do have that fight or flight thing that's going on here. And I feel that, you know, you are, it's almost like you're preparing for it. And I feel the universe is stepping in to give you some really good things on the path ahead for you. Um, when you get the earth card it is another indication that you need to ground yourself and that earth is our home and we're part of nature. We're not apart from it. We are all connected. We're all collective energy. Um, we all have a creative and collective consciousness as well. So, you know, one good turn you did to one person, it actually changes the frequency of us all. Okay, so if more people did more good things, then, you know, we'd have more good stuff bubbling up than we have uh, negative at this moment in time. And I, I get a sense here that some of you may be thinking about emigrating or, uh, I mean, the earth energy can connect to your goals. It can indicate that you're going to reach your goals, that you're very goal oriented. And I see that a lot of you have been learning lessons and you may be thinking about traveling or opening yourself up to a new journey. And I feel the end destination, it's going to be worth it because you're going to feel like you're coming home to yourself. And we've also got the star we've got the temperance card and we've got the wheel of fortune. So this indicates a lot of cycles are in play for you here. And I feel like you're aligning yourself with balance, harmony, but also with your true life's purpose. And I feel like a wish is being delivered for you. You're gonna have so much clarity, but there's also a new version of yourself where you're not letting people or situations to derail you, drain you, or knock you off your harmonious path. I get a sense with the Wheel of Fortune that actually, you know, you are in a cycle of change, you are in a transition, but it is for the better. And I see that you are tuning in to what you desire in life and you're finding, I mean, it literally says equilibrium. And again, that's another person dipping their toe or feet into water. So some of you may be drawn to water at this time, or you may actually find that you have flashes of insight when you're in the bath or in the shower, because water is also energy and it connects us to the other. I scry in water. It gives me access to energy that sometimes I'm not available to access outside the pool of water. So I feel like you are 
recalibrating your energy, but also looking at your life in general and making sure that you're orchestrating changes that will help you and benefit you long term. Now, the Ace of Cups indicates that, um, well, a couple of things really. It's about abundance, but it's also about unconditional love and a feeling of, you know, emotional care. It's important to you know, implement self-care routines for you, but also the Ace of Cups can indicate uh, holding that feeling that all is well in your heart and it shall be so. And I also get an energy of, you know, um, new love coming in. So if you are looking for new love, there could also be an opportunity that vibes with your heart, you know, a dream job opportunity that comes in as well. But the universe is stepping in to make your life overflowing with abundance. And I feel that this is to bring you hope, to give you access, to make your dreams become a reality and to illuminate the goodness in even the darkest of places. And I feel that you're bringing a lot of peace into your world. I mean, you've got two aces here. So I feel like there's a start of something going on in your world that is going to bring long-term security with that four of pentacles there, okay? The Four of Pentacles is an interesting card because there's a couple of energies coming out. One of them is don't let life pass you by. Sometimes we hold on to things, whether they are past situations, whether they are past experiences, past people, past things that are negative. Sometimes we can hold on to things without realizing it because we're searching for answers like, why did they do that? Why did that happen? How could that have happened? How could I stop it from happening again? It's important to learn the lesson, but then we have to let the past go because that's when it will hold power over us and prevent us from moving forward and stop us from opening up to the good stuff. So the Four of Pentacles is like a little reminder that life is for living. So, you know, for, for example, there are some people that I know, and I'm not going to mention their names, um, who are still like stuck in 2020 in their mindset. And that's fine. You know, we all take our time to come around to finding a way back into life in some way, okay? And this person is holding on to that fear. And of course, you know, some of us are better with it and some people are not so good with it. But it's about taking that time, okay? But also to recognize that life is passing by and that we need to find a way to create balance in our world where we can be, you know, cautious about our surroundings, but at the same time, open to living our life. And I really get a sense of you reestablishing your power in order to move forward and connect to the things that make you happy, okay? Now we do have the Nine of Wands. Now the Nine of Wands does indicate that you're doing a lot of questioning because questioning is good. If there's a sense of uncertainty about something, you're connecting to your inner wisdom and that is telling you to bring illumination to a situation. And that's why you got so many stars right now. So questioning is good. And that's on a personal level, that's on you know a career level, a love level, a world level. Questioning is always good. An open dialogue is always good, especially when it's with ourselves. So I feel it's important that you uh, keep questioning and you know, look before you leap. That's what I keep getting here. Before you take your next step, because I feel like you're taking a big step in your life, I feel like you know there may be a different path that would be right for you at this time. Doesn't mean it doesn't lead to the same goal. Just means it may be an easier path or it may be a more fruitful path. Sometimes when we are sent a sidestep in life, a plot twist in life. It's because the universe wants us to meet a certain person or a certain situation. I mean, I remember many, many years ago when I had a goal in sight, say my goal was here and I was here and I saw a, a very linear path of how to get my goal and I was moving forward. And at every turn, the universe sent me a plot twist that sent me over here, that then sent me over here and here. And I was like, what is going on? Does this mean I'm not meant to get my goal? Does this mean I'm on the wrong path? Does this mean that I should change my path or turn back or do something? And I tapped in and my guys were like, no, we're sending you this little plot twist so that you can meet this person because many years in the future, that person could be really important to you and your journey. Then we're going to send you over here because you need to find this piece of knowledge that will help you later on when you actually reach your goal. And sometimes challenges, they may mean nothing to us in this moment. We're like, why am I going through this? This is awful. 
and then suddenly everything starts to make sense and I've been through so many challenges in my life like broken lost everything my home finances everything and was completely like you know at rock bottom at one stage in my life and I couldn't understand it I was like and I stood very very still and then the universe started to deliver and said okay now you're listening now you've surrendered here's an opportunity here's an opportunity and these were opportunities that I had fought for like so much and I held on to it so tightly and then I had to just let go because there was nothing left and then the universe was like, this is what you wanted. This is what you wanted. And it's better than you actually envisaged. And I was like, whoa, this is actually happening. And things started to get better. So my point being, I don't see you like losing everything or being at rock bottom. I don't see that at all. But I see that some of you have had some challenges and you may have had some plot twists along the way. And those plot twists, those little sidesteps, those little bumps in the road, they're there for a reason. And we can get a piece of information out of every situation to help us long term and I feel like that right now you're gathering you're gathering this information this knowledge um, for something greater in the future okay so what I see here is that there is nothing to worry about I feel like you're coming unstuck in a situation I feel like you're building your power building your confidence and I feel the universe is going to step in to help you in the direction of your dreams and goals okay thank you so much spirit guides going angels can you please guide my beautiful Librans. What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Okay. So we have, you're pushing yourself to exhaustion. Enjoy yourself in between all of your hard work. And that did come up in the reading. This is even in a different deck. Okay. So this is a big message here. And it says, be careful who you take advice from. Now that's interesting. Be careful who you take advice from. Now you didn't get the emperor energy, so um, that normally means advice or you know from a, a figure in authority. But I get a sense here that because you have the ace of swords in the resistance position and the fool card, if you're trying to change something about your life, and intuitively you feel it's the right move, and someone tells you don't do it, that's not good. You know, obviously investigate their advice. Always be open because they may see something that you don't see. But ultimately, if you feel like that person is trying to prevent you or trying to derail you or drain you or try to encourage you to do what they want you to do, it's really important to tap in with your intuition and make sure that you listen to your own hunches. Because even like listening to me, it's, you know, or any other tarot reader as well, I will always say, your first guide is your inner compass, okay? It's so important because I can give you energy, timelines of what is to come, but ultimately how you navigate it, that is your decision. And you can, you know, change some details along the way as well. And it says here, don't worry about what could go wrong. If something does go wrong, you'll be able to make the best out of it, okay? So for some of you, you're trying to launch something and you are worried that, you know, perhaps, it doesn't go your way or perhaps you know um, it isn't what you expect and I feel the outcome here is way better than you ever imagined um, but I understand the fear and I feel that you're going to do it anyway and you will not be disappointed don't compare your life to others your journey is your own now I don't feel like you're doing that my beautiful Librans but sometimes when we feel like we're not making progress we can look at other people and think how is it they're there and I work really hard and Technically, I should be there too, but I'm not. What's going on? There's always a plan, okay? And sometimes uh, people are way ahead of us, and then later on in life, they're way behind us, and we're ahead of them. So I feel it's really important to recognize that, you know, um, they've just given me this energy of, you know, it's, it's like, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, Okay, that's what I'm picking up. It's not a sprint, it's a, it's a marathon. It's not who gets there first. It's about, you know, that long journey that will feel really rewarding when you get to where you want to go, okay? Um, and it says here, you will be a great success, but you will have to go through it to get there. There's lessons to be learned. And I definitely picked that up in your reading. I feel like you have been learning some lessons. I feel like you have been tested recently, but you are making progress, okay? Um, now, 
I'm just going to go and get a rune. Oh, I can't believe it. I pick these runes or trinkets with my eyes closed. And of course, you can't see that, so you do have to trust me on that, I'm afraid. Um, but I kid you not, you got a tree, okay? You've got the tree of life. Now, this is all about perspective, but it's also about planting roots, finding home, and it's also about being secure, okay, and bringing wealth in as well. Now, of course, with the Four of Pentacles, it can indicate that you are creating long-term financial security, that you will be able to save a little bit more money, but you're taking ownership, okay, and you're believing in your dreams, and I feel like you will have abundance. Well, this card literally means you'll always have abundance available to you when you need it, okay? So uh, the tree represents wealth, but it also indicates generational wealth as well, but it's more about building a solid foundation. And for some of you, it's about getting out into nature more as well. And we have the horse rune, which is about progress. Future changes are coming, but you're moving in the right direction to make progress through those changes. So trust, okay? Um, now, it came in the upright. So this means that there are changes afoot, but they're not sudden. There'll be gradual changes and you'll have time to navigate those changes. And I feel like your future looks really bright. Okay, so I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in that reading, my beautiful Librans. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Librans, and love and light.